Monday morning couldn't... Oh, sorry, I shouldn't sing. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Today, we are going to talk with the co-host, Dave Bash, one of our show favorites. We're going to talk about... This is going to be part of uh, our series of why you would choose Marathon. And one of the most important things of buying a Marathon is taking a proper delivery of a Marathon. Coach 1358 in the background, about to move on to its new owners. So happy for them, excited for them. But one of the most important things of taking a delivery of a new coach or a pre-owned coach is a proper delivery. Part of that proper delivery is Dave Bash, who does most of our deliveries company-wide. Uh, Dave has spent some time. Hey, let's welcome him in right now. Dave, how are you? I'm doing good, Mal. We've got the Dave Mike here this morning. Uh, so, exactly. So, a big thanks to Dave for showing up today because we wanted to put him on the spot. I talked to him a little bit this morning about what we're going to do, and we're going to talk about taking a proper delivery. Uh, Dave does our deliveries all over the nation, whether it be at people's homes, whether it be at our Florida, Texas, or uh, here in Oregon, where you do most of the deliveries. But, um, and we do have other people that do other deliveries, but Dave gets requested to go, uh, you know, all over the nation. And so we wanted to pick his brain this morning about a proper delivery. Dave, real quick, tell us why it's important to take a proper delivery here at the factory where this coach was built. Well, like you just said, this is where it was built. If anything goes wrong or we find something cosmetic or anything wrong with the coach during the delivery process, this is the best place to get it fixed. Absolutely. We've got good stores in Texas and Florida. I trained Colin out there to do the deliveries out and there. he's he does, great. He does a really good he's job. He's very good at this. And I've been doing back and forth between here and Texas doing deliveries. And we, uh, this is just, if anything's wrong, this is, this is where they're built. This is the best place where we have to replace a panel, replace whatever, or just get something fixed. This is the best place to get it done. Absolutely. And let's not split any hairs here. It's a 45 foot moving bus. Things are gonna happen. Things are gonna go wrong. That's right. And we try to uh, minimize those things that go wrong. However, when things do go wrong, the best place to get them addressed, especially during delivery, is here at the mothership in Coburg. Sure. Okay. So. Uh, Dave alluded to Colin down in Florida. He's absolutely fantastic. So if you've had your delivery with Colin, um, he's he's very, very good at, at uh, mm -hmm. doing deliveries down at our Florida location. And we talk back and forth each with each other too. If, if we find something new that's going on, I let him know, he'll let me know about things uh, that we find and we communicate. And so, yeah, he's really good. Absolutely. And you bring up a good point because these coaches are constantly changing from they technology are. to upgrades. And because they are custom coaches and no two coaches have ever been built alike, That's right. they literally are always changing. And so your knowledge of the coaches has to continue to change. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have engineers that keep changing things. That's a good thing. <laughs> it can be <laughs> sometimes. That's a good thing. So here's the deal. We're going to go around the coach and I'm going to uh, ask Dave to go over some of the more important things that he does during a delivery um, like this coach 1358 that's going to be going to the new owners. If you've got questions for Dave, and I know a lot of you probably do, We'll get to some of them. We probably won't be able to get to all of them. Uh, we've got Abigail with us this morning looking at those comments. So Dave, let's get right into it. The importance of a delivery here in Coburg, taking the time. One of the things I wanna to touch on is what, okay, let's just do this. What's your number one thing that you wanna show customers? Um, <laughs> well, let's not do number one. Let's just do, well, give me one. Well, there's so many things that they need to know I mean, we have, I've done two deliveries where a marathon coach is their first motor home ever. Gotcha. There's a lot to learn. Yes. And you can't learn it in just two days if you don't have previous experience with a motor home. Okay. So the time needed to spend with that kind of person is much longer. Well, let's go sit in the cockpit because I'd like to, I'd like to uh, pick your brain about that. Okay. Go, you want me to sit? Go ahead. Okay. I'll sit here where the owner would be sitting uh -huh. and I'm going to let you hold this mic so that I'm not reaching across you. Okay. So Dave, um, 
drive, driving the coach, mm -hmm. you do, one of the things that I've seen you do over the last several years is you spend a lot of time with the owners. Mm -hmm. Um, usually a couple, sometimes just a, a single person, man mm -hmm. or woman. Yeah. And um, talk to me about the importance, if, if you're not comfortable behind the wheel, because we have multiple owners, meaning they've had multiple coaches, but one of the things that you do so well is you are very good at helping somebody who's very experienced and someone who's not experienced at all drive a coach. Talk, talk to us about the importance of spending time uh, learning how to drive the coach if they if they have it. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind, I've had several, in most of our owners, the husband does most of the driving and the wife doesn't even want to get behind the wheel. But in case of an emergency, she needs to know how to move the coach. Right. Uh, we have some owners that she does all the driving. Yes. And very well. But uh, in most cases, it's the woman has not driven the coach before. So I have a course around the lot here and, and it's been showed on videos and we're going to do that, I guess, with Abigail. Uh, yes. Abigail's sometime. going to, yep. We're She's never force her behind the, the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have a course that I try to take people around, know what to look for, going mm -hmm. around corners, how to get past obstacles, what to look for, how to use the mirrors, the backup camera, just a, a little course. And uh, we've had some very excited owners or uh, spouses very happy with, with being able with to that handle experience. the coach. Yeah. And that's one thing that I've seen firsthand mm -hmm. uh, when I've riddle, when I've rode along with you right. when you were doing a delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that I've really noticed is the excitement from people when they realize, oh, I can do this. It's pretty easy to drive. It, it's a confidence thing. It Once is. they get behind the deal. wheel with a good a trainer like yourself to help train them on on it, and I know that's a big part of the delivery. Okay, okay. let's move away from um, driving. Tell us. Uh, sh why don't you show us a few things that you show people when you take the when they take delivery of a new coach that uh, they need to learn? Okay. Well. Um... Let's go out to the bay because I've got a couple things out there in the Let's bay so I can show you. Go I'm going to hold the mic for Dave so that he can show us. Well, there's several things we can look at in the bays here. Uh, one thing here is all this extra stuff that comes with it, but there's all kinds of compartments throughout the coach. And in, in here is a special storage compartment where you've got a 50 foot air hose and then reflective emergency triangles that come with the coach. Important to know where those are. Right. Um, lots of little things like that. But one of the, the most common things I like to show people is some of the backup systems that we build into the coach. Oh, okay. Because we know things are going to happen. Yes. A lot of, well, let's go back here to the plumbing bay. Okay. We're not going to try and fool ourselves that the coach is going to be perfect at all times. I love, the, okay, from a salesman standpoint, this is one of the most beautiful bays. It's kind of impressive. When the wind, when when the doors are closed, looking through this tinted glass, it's, it looks like a wine cooler. <laughs> okay, but we've got all kinds of things here, and some of the, well, just safety aspects. You've got a built-in pressure regulator here, built into the coach, so that if you get higher pressure at some park or somewhere you go into, even your home or business, that you hook up water to the coach. It's pressure regulated at 50 pounds, so it's not gonna blow out any of the lines if you've got excessive pressure that you're hooking up to the coach. Absolutely. You've got water filter built in. Um, all the water that goes on board goes through this filter and then into the tank. Uh, you've got other filters for other things inside the coach, drinking water and different things. And, and if I may jump in here, one of the things that I have seen also is Dave's going to talk about this filter. All of the water that goes into the tanks runs through that filter. And then a customer is going to ask Dave, how often do I have to change that filter? The nice thing is, it's a clear bowl. You can see the filter. If you look at it and it's getting kind of dirty or scummy, you can see that. And so uh, that's the easiest one to change. These others have fittings that you have to take off and change. But these are high, higher quality filters too, so they'll last longer. That's great. But this in get incoming water 
go through it and you can see if it's dirty. Sure. And also another thing, you're gonna taste the water. If, if you got a bad taste in your water coming into the coach, change your filters. Absolutely. It's, it's very simple. What else is in this bay that stands out to you, well, Dave? Well, there's, there's a couple things. Okay. First of all, we've got black and gray dump valves that are electric, okay? Yes. What happens if that electric valve fails? Right. There's a backup system built in. See this cotter pin right here? You get that, John? This cotter pin on the shaft? If this valve fails to open using the normal buttons that are on the other side of the bay, you pull that cotter pin, and then at that point, it becomes a manual valve. You just can still dump the, the tanks. Right. So it's, you're not stuck with the full tanks. Um, you've got a backup system for the water. This electric solenoid that gets pushed on the other side for autofill lets water go into the coach. What happens if that fails? How do you get water on board the coach? Because this is really the primary way to get water in the coach. If that fails and won't open, here's your backup system. You've got a, a gravity fill. Gravity fill. It's just you stick the end of the hose in there, it goes straight into the tank. Okay. But at that point, you just got to be mindful of you're at the mercy of the water you're putting on board the coach. Right. It's not getting filtered. That's great. Until you use it and then it goes through these filters inside the coach. So there's a lot to learn on these coaches. There's a lot to learn. Okay. What else, Dave? Well, uh, here's an electric heater in here. Why is that there? Because in freezing conditions, the thermostat set for this heater is 40 degrees. The so, heater's on this side of the bay. The thermostat for that heater is on the other side of the bay. Okay. This is your plumbing bay. You don't want it to freeze up and start breaking fittings right. in cold weather. So this keeps this bay from freezing up and causing problems. Gotcha. There's all kinds of things like that built in. Um, you've got your two water pumps here, on-demand water pumps. You've got valves on both sides of those pumps. If they need to be changed, it can be done with minimal water loss. I see so that, yep. You got incoming outgoing valves for that. Everything seems very accessible in this bay. It is. And another thing that stands out to me is how beautiful it is. I mean, it, it, which, well, which function needs to be there. Function needs to be Fun there. Function is paramount to the situation. We but want customers to be able to use their coaches without, with minimum problems. Right, right. We don't want there to be problems. Okay, what, what so, else, Dave, would you show us on a, on a delivery? There's a myriad of things. Um, what about the engine through, compartment? We can go through the engine you, compartment. You want to take a look at that real quick? We That's can. one thing that we don't do a lot on this show is we don't go over um, the engine compartment enough. And part of that is because that's something you do on a delivery. I do. And so we don't touch on it on the show a lot because uh, here we are in the Prevo chassis and there's a lot, Prevo has some very good videos on this. They do. But one of the things that I've seen you do is go over uh, the engine compartment with owners. Okay. So what would you, in, in a couple of minutes, show us in here? Well, with owners, there's varying degrees of how much they want to know about this compartment. Right. Some people are very technical, want to know every little thing. Some people just want to know where to check the oil and transmission, and that's it. Sure. They don't want to mess with anything. Uh, you've got four sets of belts here. You've got the oil dipstick and you've got the transmission dipstick. But something that some people don't know is you don't need to to use this stick to check the transmission fluid because you can do it with the leveling pad up front. To do that properly, the, the engine and transmission has to be up to normal operating temperatures, but you can use the two arrows up there to check the transmission fluid level right. without pulling this dipstick. Because that's about a six foot long dipstick. Right. So the transmission it's gotta go all the, the way back there. Yeah. Yep. And so there's just lots of things here. You've got coolant coolant here and you got a coolant level up there um just different things to check for the most part you shouldn't have to do anything here other than check the oil but if one of the things that the customers want to know how often do they have to change the oil on these volvo engines right from volvo is twenty-five thousand miles between oil changes because everything in the engine is synthetic so it lasts longer right now of course you can do it more often if you want to and yes. some people do some people have certain times they want to change the oil and service keep keeping up on service 
is a big deal. Yes. Because if you keep up on service, your problems that are going to arise are at a minimum. So that's anyways. really that's really uh, this is a, a portion that uh, I know I've learned personally a lot from you, uh, okay. especially leading up to my CDL test, uh, which was fun several years ago. But, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, this is something that I think a lot of owners really appreciate when you take them through uh, even the basics of the engine compartment. Let's move uh, around this way, Dave, okay. and I want to pick your brain on uh, the backside of water, <laughs> to coin a Disney term, um, <laughs> an, another beautiful bay. But uh, well, tell us what you're doing right there. Uh, what on on this side? Some of the most important features that you uh, go through on a delivery. Well, one of the I think innovative things about a marathon coach is how they mount and use their dump hose. Yes, the for the black tank. Absolutely. Um, if we bring that hose out. We're just gonna press this button and hold it and we'll see the sewer hose come out here. The nice thing, the nice thing about this hose and what it, way it's stored is because it's internally stored, you don't have to store a dirty sewer hose in one of your bays. All you have to store is the 90 degree end that goes on that hose. Gotcha and we give them a, a waterproof bag after they've rinsed it off, it goes in this waterproof bag and, and it's a Just small Just for that pouch. 90 elbow, yep. It's, that's all you have to store in one of your bays. Right. This hose, when you're done with it, you just store it like this. And I don't know of anybody else that uses that system. Yeah, I think the Freedom Plus system is exclusive only to marathons. And it is, it is one of our better features that we have in the coach. When it works. <laughs> right, right. Well, and sometimes well, you, it fails, but we can fix it. And that's right. You can still use the hose manually, even, even if it doesn't shoot out or suck back in. It can still be done manually. Absolutely. So, uh, what else is on, on this bay that's important for owners to learn about? One of the things that I like personally is that I can open up this bay and actually see the tanks. You've got the tank, the three, the fresh tank, the black tank, and the gray tank in there with their sensors and some electronics, there's your water heater. You can actually get at this stuff pretty easily and see the level in the tanks. One, so, of, one of the things that I like about being able to open up these doors and see inside here is you can physically see your drop door locking into place right, right. there. Yeah. And that's one of the, the things latch. you've taught me to look at. Right. You latch can see- it's right there. The, the air piston that takes the door up and down, the latch, it's all right here. The pressure that's on that latch, right. working everything. Um, got your cable hook up here. But I like having access to this stuff. So, and you've got access to the fuses for the sewer hose, for the shore cord, uh, all that stuff that works. These are the things that that you learn when you're taking delivery, mm -hmm. and uh, you know you can learn them in a two three day process. But at the same time using the coach is your best teacher yes one of the most common things that i tell customers your best teacher better than me going through everything with you is time spent in the coach mm. that's your best teacher because you're going to remember it better absolutely i'm giving them a lot of information and i like to have a minimum of two days even if they're a previous owner it can go faster with the previous owner but a minimum of two days some people need more some people need less yes but there's a lot of information. And when I start seeing their eyes glaze over, it, I, I know that they're full. Right. They need to take a break. And sometimes we take several breaks and it can be, happen over several days. That's why a delivery but, can be one day, two day, up to over a week. Once I get them in here and we get over the basics, uh, we'll set them up in our campground. They can stay the night in our campground and I'll go out get with them the next morning and answer any questions they had that come up overnight or address any problems that came up overnight. Um, they can stay there as long as they want. They can take the coach and use it, go to the coasts or wherever they want to go up in the mountains. Absolutely. They're both close here within an hour's drive. Right. And you can use the coach, come back. If anything happens, we can get it taken care of. Uh, you've got a two year warranty. 
yes. on the coach. If anything goes wrong, we can get it taken care of. And that's that's the thing is like when you come, you know, coming to Oregon and taking a proper delivery is so important because you you're learning the coach even when you're not with you you're out in camp marathon and we've got that mm -hmm. we've got pacific shores one of the nicer rv parks on the west coast mm -hmm. you know an hour and 15 20 minutes from here uh we've got great golf courses the mountains bend oregon fishing, fishing. that's right a lot of our customers are fishers absolutely so dave uh is there anything else that you like showing customers or that Customers really appreciate you going over Crestron. Do you want to show any of the Crestron system? We can show them that. There's so many things. There is. On the Crestron yeah. system, you can control a lot. One of the things is right here. The tech link. At the place where you dump your tanks, being able to see the tank levels is a good thing. We can go to our tech link system, and we can look at tank levels right there. And so you can do a lot of things with this monitor look at your battery voltages you can look at all kinds of stuff you can start and stop your generator from here we can even go back out here and work whoops work our awnings from here so i can pick all of them and i gotta get my glasses on get extend right there <laughs> <laughs> and we can put the awnings out from right here if it's raining and you're trying to be out here dumping your tanks you can put your awnings out and and stay mostly out of the rain. Absolutely. Unless it's windy and it's coming sideways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which happens a lot in Oregon. So another thing that I'm going to point out before we get out of here, and we're asked Abigail for some questions. As the beautiful awnings are above us, I love the lights on oh, our so awnings. Nice. Ah, they're so cool. Those LED lights at night with the ground effect lights, which mm -hmm. are on also. Yep. Um, or as Bernie would say, the pimp lights. Um, <laughs> but one of the things that I want to ask Dave uh, about is, um, you know, when you're when you're learning the coach and experiencing the coach, one of the things of taking a delivery here with Dave that stood out to me over and over again is that you do all of our pre-delivery inspections on a 25-year-old coach to a to a, a coach brand that new. was a brand new coach yeah. and you have a very good knowledge and it's always changing we just talked about that but you have a great knowledge that goes over uh, several eras of coaches whether it be an xl an xl2 an x3 h. an h3 and all of the massive updates of the h3 that we've had over the years and that's one of the things that really benefits you the customer whether you're buying a pre-owned or a new one, taking a delivery with Dave here at the plant in Coburg is because Dave knows the history of the evolution of things and he also can help you know, talk to you about trouble spots. So we've had trouble with this or we've had trouble with that or this is something to look out for uh, when you're pulling into your lot at Motor Coach or you're pulling into a campground anywhere, this is what to look for. You know, when you're about to leave a campground, this is the things to look for. And that's another show for another day is when you're when you're entering your RV lot or you're leaving your RV lot, what are the things to do? So, uh, Abigail, are there any questions that you want to throw our way? I'm going to uh, None, right? invite you in, if you will. <laughs> Everybody th say good morning to Abigail. How are you? Just fantastic. They had to put me on camera. Absolutely. What are some questions that you might have for Dave? It's a it's a treat to have Dave on the show, the co-host. So what, what do you say? Uh, well, our friend Jim Torrens uh, went ahead and asked us a question. He said, never having owned a coach, I would want a camera on the right side facing toward parked cars. Does Marathon do that? Yes. Right now we do. On the newer coaches, they have the quad camera system you've got cameras on each side of the coach and front and back and there's many different views that you can see on the dash monitor um, one of the things that we've added i'm glad you brought up cameras because one of the innovative things that we've done that i talk about with customers is if you've been parked someplace long period of time and been under trees yes and those leaves or needles or branches drop on the this, the roof of your slide out You've got to get up there and get them off. And we don't want you, you on a ladder. <laughs> We'd like rather not be on. But right. sometimes you have to if right. there's something yeah. up there. But we've installed cameras to look at the roofs of those slide outs so that you can look before you bring them in 
and see if there's any debris up there because we don't want you to bring that in with that up there and damage the slide seal. Yeah. It's kind of expensive to replace those things. Absolutely, and that's a really so. good thing to point out, David. I'm glad you did because, and the reason, you know, our engineers are listening to our owners and that comes straight from our owners. And uh, so that's really good. Any other any other questions of note that you'd like to? Well, this one's not a question, but actually uh, we have someone like reviewed you basically, Dave. Um, There's a Dave review. Murray. Oh, Murray Seleski. Yeah. Murray? <laughs> yeah, he says, Dave is great. And he is especially helpful with driving lessons. Never owned a motorhome before purchasing my marathon. And Dave spent all of the necessary time to make my wife and I feel incredibly comfortable. It reinforced why we wanted a marathon. Natalie took your course and still feels comfortable if she ever has to be behind the wheel. Absolutely. Good. Murray and Natalie Seleski, uh, some very good friends of marathon that mm -hmm. have owned a coach for the last couple years now. Yeah. Um, you did. You did a very proper delivery with them. Well, we like all the deliveries to be proper. Th but that's right. Yeah, we want so. we want customers to feel comfortable when they drive but off. But you're off bringing the coach. up a good point. Some people don't have the time to do a proper delivery, and that's what I'm trying to ram home: is that you need to take a proper delivery. Okay. Some some people say, okay, I've got two days, Dave. If it's not enough, come back. Come back or. You know, feel free to call our tech line and ask questions. One of the one of the most uh, revered phone numbers that no one has is Dave's cell phone. So you're not going to get Dave on a cell phone. But nine times out of ten, uh, especially lately, if you call our tech line, you might get Dave. But um, uh, that's another thing that you help out with uh, with customers is talking directly with them on issues they're having with their coach or questions, yeah. um, not necessarily issues, but questions they might have. Uh, when you are on tech support. That's great. We have uh, one more question. What are the delivery? Um, I'm assuming they, they mean like, what is the delivery prep for the interior? Before it gets delivered, what has to happen inside? Okay, that's a very that's a very good question. And I watched that on Friday. Here is a coach that is uh, basically getting delivered over the next 48 hours. Uh, a lot of cleaning. Yep. Um, a secondary, a third, sometimes uh, other other staff from our senior staff. We have a senior walkthrough uh, where our senior staff and management goes through the coach and they push buttons and they do this and they do that. But uh, salesmen like myself uh, will go through the coach and push buttons and open things and look for anything that may have been missed. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that's part of it. Also decor. Uh, Brenda Kraft uh, designed this coach along with the owners. Um, I've seen Pete Sutton come down here and look at his paint jobs, or Sarah uh, come down and look at their paint jobs literally a day before taking delivery to make sure that the paint job it doesn't need to be buffed or, or whatever. Ideally, I like to take some time before the customer gets here to go through, and like this morning I found a couple things that weren't right with this coach. Right, I remember you telling me this and morning. so we like to take some time before the customer gets here to make sure that there's no surprises when they get here. Because it's kind of embarrassing to find stuff that are wrong in front of the customer as I'm going through the coach with them. It happens, but- It does happen. It happens, but, but you know, cleanliness is one. Um, but if, two detailers were in this coach all day Friday. All day, and, yeah. And it's pretty clean inside the coach. Yes. And if we find anything after that, we can still, I can go get them and they can come in and take care of whatever issues we find. Absolutely. It's a it's a good situation here. And it's a nice display stall. We get inside out of the weather, even in the hot summertime, we can be in here in air conditioning. Yes. Or out of the rainstorms that hit us quite often. Yes, a good so, a good friend of the show who took delivery a couple of years ago with Dave, mm -hmm. uh, Richard Lawrence, yeah. uh, coach 1302, mm -hmm. a beautiful uh, quad slide. Mm -hmm. um, Richard spent a lot of time with Dave learning all of the things of uh, extremely custom coach uh took a you know yeah. spent a lot of time with dave learning um all the intricacies of his coach and i know richard's probably watching so uh you know i know he learned a lot from you that day or that week because it was a full week um but uh yeah he had some very innovative things in his coach oh, 
the one of the coolest coaches. Yeah. He has one of the coolest coaches I've ever seen. And here's another thing. If they want to change something at the last minute. Oh, yeah. That can happen there. here. Okay. Thank you, Dave. Man, the co-host coming through for the team. The bottom line is when you take delivery here, if you want to make a change, it can be done and achieved because everything is done in this building. And when I say everything, I don't necessarily mean everything. I mean 95% of the bus is done in this building. Mm -hmm. From paint to delivery, it's done in, uh, in this building. And so if the customer sees something that they either don't have or they, let's say it doesn't say private coach at the door, mm -hmm. we can install the private coach placard in the Prevo front, font, excuse me, mm -hmm. right there by the, by the door if there's something wrong with the paint. We got a paint team right here. They can come down and address it. Mm -hmm. And it, it, the, that's, we're going a little long on this show, but that's what this show is about. This show is about why would you choose Marathon? And one of the main reasons is taking delivery at the factory is important for so many reasons. Speaking of going long, I know we have one last question. Um, Jim Torrance again uh, asking a question says, does Marathon refer owners to a third party interior or exterior detailer after delivery? That's a good question, you know, and Dave will speak to that because Dave's done deliveries all over the country. And I will tell you from a West Coast standpoint, we have trusted third party vendors down in the desert in, that we trust. In Indio. That's right. We've down got, in Indio. We've got some specific people we use down there that do a good job for us. Yep, the park in Polson, Montana. We have a trusted guy. Think about this, just to wash the coach. You want to wash the yeah. coach the right way with yep. the right materials. We don't want scratches on the paint. No, you That's do right. not. And, and this is something that you address in the delivery is going over with them the, the aftercare of taking care of a coach. Mm -hmm. And also, if these customers who are picking up their coach, if they, if in doubt, call it out, mm -hmm. call the tech line, call and speak with either Dave or Terry Warren or Jeff, Jeff. or whoever else is on the phones that day, because they have a wealth of knowledge too. And that's yep. another benefit of taking the delivery here is you get to meet guys like Terry, Jeff, and of course, Dave. So what else you got? Well, someone's like, nah, keep the show going. Can you guys show the steps inside? Yeah, let's go show the they, steps. I think they want to see the lips. We're in the mix like a Kool-Aid spoon. Oh, my God. Let's show it. Do you like how we thought the show was going to be shorter? Right. We're like, oh, no, nah, we don't need this. That's right. Well, you know. We can keep going for days. That's right. And no. and that's, they, these are the things that uh, that are important to people that are making the decision. You could show the. Yes. Yes. From a safety standpoint, um, and that's one of the things that always stands out. I'm going to let Dave bring those awnings in. We've got fire extinguishers in the bay, but we've also got one here in the entry. There's a flip up step with the fire extinguisher right there. So all of our coaches come with at least three fire extinguishers that you can use in case of emergency. Most of them that when I, like Mal said earlier, I do PDIs on older coaches. Most of the time, those fire extinguishers have never been touched. And that's a good thing. <laughs> we don't want fires in the coaches. And see, that's just it. Dave will take you from the basics, like, hey, where's my fire extinguisher? He'll go over those and he'll also go over uh, how to check them to make sure the charge on them is proper or at least kept up. And then he'll go as advanced as talking about how to drive, talking about how to use the Crestron system, or something is uh, something like this, the air phone system, uh, intercom that goes back to the bedroom, going over the lights and the air conditioning and, and um, AC select and different things that we have in the coach that make the experience as a marathon owner uh, enjoyable, an, an enjoyable experience. Just depends on how long you want this video to be. That's right. Well, we could go all day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So uh, I think that's going to be it uh, for the day. I keep waving to people, as you see. Um, I love being down here on the production floor because you're going to run into uh, that was Andy Ibarra from our paint team. Um, some, you know, for you owners out there, someone you know quite well. 
Uh, we saw Scott walk by. Uh, he's the head of our cabinet shop. Uh, and then we've got new employees. I see some new employees. We're constantly hiring at this point. Uh, we've got new employees going through some training. So, um, you know, uh, uh, and Bob Shavria walked by us, you know, the head of our engineering department. Before we started, yeah. Yeah, a guy that's been with the company 30 years. Um, be yourself and do good things. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. But above all of that, thank you to Dave. His time is very val valuable. And he's got a lot of things going on as he gets ready for deliveries or PDIs. Uh, and also, I don't know if you're on the phones today. Nope, I got a PDI to finish. He's got a PDI to finish. What coach are you uh, going over? 1221. 1221. That's a fantastic coach. That's a nice coach. That's a nice coach. All our coaches are nice coaches. I love the coffee machine in 1221. It's got an a awesome old school espresso machine uh, right in. The, I'm, going, I'm going long, John, my bad. That being said, big thanks to Dave for hanging out with us because Dave is one of those guys that really helps Marathon's brand. And I think you can see that. And I think you guys have seen that over the several shows that Dave's been on, the co-host of Marathon Mondays with Mal. Other than that, big thanks to Abigail for hanging out with us. I'm excited for the uh, one of the things that we're going to show eventually throughout this year is Abigail driving with Dave. Uh, driver training is very important. Uh, and it also gives a lot of confidence to the owners. So be yourself and do good things. Have a good week. Congratulations to the new owners of Coach 1358. They're picking it up this week. So uh, anything else, Dave, before we get out of here? No. I love it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.